All right, welcome. I'm Seth Engel. We're joined with Mike Doyle from the band OK Otter, who just released their new song. Uh, Mike, how you doing today? I'm good. How you doing? Yeah, I appreciate you coming on. So first things first, um, you know, why don't you tell me about OK Otter? I know you're a state college based band, um, a family band too. Uh, maybe talk a little bit about that. You know. Yeah, sure. Of- yeah. So. Um- so I am the only one in the band that is state college based. So since we moved here um, two months ago, uh, that's where I'm kind of, well, that's obviously where I'm living. But when we play with the cover band, which is a popular band in like down at the Jersey Shore uh, and in the Philly area, I go to them. So the rest of my family, my, my dad's the drummer, my little sister and brother-in-law are the two guitar players. And then when our family friend plays Squeezebox. So usually I go to them for most of the cover stuff. But um we do come up like we we've done Thon, so we did Thon the last two years, which is fun. We did um, we did like the football tailgate once, like at the entrance where the team walks in, which was pretty cool. Uh, so that's really all we've been doing in the state college area, as far as like the live gigs, which are mainly again, which is more like the cover stuff. We do a lot of like Irish rock and um, you know classic rock, some new stuff. So you talk about recording, um, kind of recording by yourself. Is this you said everything is done in your basement here? Yeah. Yeah. So this basement, my last house in, in the Philly area, I was recording in the basement. Um, so on this MacBook that I'm on, I use a, a, a tool called Logic Pro. And I just use that with, a, you know, audio interface. I got a, it's not on right now, but I got this cool, like, you know, mic sticking up out of my desk. The mic's not in right now, but uh, just do everything with that. And then I send it out like mix and mastering. I mean, any, everyone probably knows this already any musicians that would watch this but you can get stuff done for like 50 bucks mixed and mastered that's good enough i mean i think lexus used the song of mine that i spent 30 dollars total on getting mixed and mastered and And i'm not a good engineer like i said it to the guys like hey just make this better for me please and he he did what he and sounded good to me and you know they've used it so so would you say that transitioning into more of uh I don't know, into some more pop songs. Is that something that you enjoy to make more? Um, or is that something that you just kind of over time, you know, you just want to try something new? Um, I mean, I still write like a lot of both. Like I, I did two country songs or my most recent songs. I like, um, like Wendy's, I think one of the songs I'm most proud of just out of, I, cause I think it's a good like foot tapper. My kids are dancing to it. I, I, I think it's fun. Like when people are dancing to your song, it's, you know, even if it's just like your family at home, it's pretty cool. Like that's, and it's the same as when we play out. So when we play out and you're playing cover songs, it's the same idea. Like everyone wants to do like the cool cover songs, which I'm guilty of too. But then you start to realize like people want to hear, you know, like the pop rock dance, like Motown type stuff. And then you play it and it's like, this is fun playing this kind of stuff. Cause like people are into it. There's good energy. Um, so I think it's kind of the same with, with writing songs. You start to do, you know, that like synth bass that's in the, you know, Wendy, like I said, I would never use that in the, when I started, but like, I'm, I don't know. Now I, I'm kind of into it. Maybe I'll start using that, that more. It's like kind of gets your, your head moving a little. So. Um, I think that's all I have uh, for right now. Is there anything else that you would like to add, you know, maybe about the song or your band? I'll try to get some, some gigs up in the, uh, you know, in state college area in the summer. If anyone ever wants to check us out, like, I think we have some, some extra, um, or some more gigs this summer. We're always playing in Seattle City. Um, we've been playing at a place called the Ore House. It used to be, we used to play at Ore House and La Costa. I don't know, you, you might not be familiar, but La Costa was like, La Costa and the OD were like the big spots to always play. La Costa is going away, and the guy who owns La Costa also owns the Ore House. So we're just at the Ore House now, but it's becoming a really cool spot. Like this summer, uh, we've been playing there, and it's just like hundreds of people there, which is pretty cool. So it's kind of developing into a, into a, like the new, La Costa, basically. Um, and yeah, and I sent you guys, if you guys want to share that video of, um, it's called Sleeping Lion. It's like, it's not country, but it's kind of country-ish, uh, maybe like Americana. So uh, yeah, I'm kind of excited about that one too. So You must be out of your mind why don't you give me a sign? Am I just wasting my time on you? You got me driving around So much to think about It's like I'm drowning the sound Never sleep and lying Cause you could tear me to shreds If you don't go
outside The sun is saying that the weatherman lied We're drinking coffee, she seems so kind